The federal inquiry into foreign interference is resuming this morning, and it uh, will hear from an independent MP at the center of allegations about foreign meddling in Canadian elections. Han Dong left the Liberal caucus after it was alleged he willingly took part in Chinese interference efforts and won his seat with Beijing's help in 2019. Dong is denying those claims. He is slated to testify this afternoon, as is former Ontario Cabinet Minister Michael Chan. Chan is suing CSIS and others over allegations that the spy agency had him under surveillance and had concerns about improper activities with Chinese officials. CTV's Colton Prale is standing by in Ottawa with more on this. And Colton, talk about uh, what we'll be watching for this afternoon. Yeah, of course, as you mentioned, Hendong's testimony is going to be the one that most people are paying attention to watching uh, as he is the, really the person who is at the center of this entire saga uh, and what's kicked it all off. This is probably some of the most important testimony we're going to hear uh, from someone who is a fir- has first-hand experience uh, of living through this. And one of the things that we learned in former Special Rapporteur David Johnson's report uh, was that Han Dong was allegedly unaware of what was going on. And while he did find that there were irregularities in that 2019 pro- uh, process for his nomination in Don Valley North, and that he said there was also uh, genuine suspicions that it could be connected to the Toronto, con- the Chinese consulate in Toronto, Uh, what we heard this morning was that the Liberal Party stands by that nomination process in 2019 and that there was no indications on their end of anything untoward or of any potential foreign interference and they continue uh, to hold that view. That's particularly interesting because that's something that's going to come up if the party says they didn't know and the candidate uh, didn't know himself, uh, what then can be done to try to stop these incidents of potential foreign interference in something as, as sanctitous, uh, sanctimonious as the as the election itself? That's one aspect that we're going to be focusing on, on a lot this afternoon. The other aspect is going to be the communication to the candidates themselves. There are a number of, of people who have allegedly been targeted and, and subject to incidences of foreign interference, whether it's Han Dong, Michael Chan, Jenny Kwong, Michael Chong, uh, there's, the list goes on and on and on. And how many of these people were actually aware of what was being done and what was happening to them or around them? That's a specific question that we don't have a lot of answers on so far. And what we learned from the parties themselves is that the information they were getting throughout this electoral process was not very specific at all. There was complaints from all three major excuse me, all three major parties, about the lack of specific information they were being given by the federal task force that oversees the federal election process. And and even in the process after those elections, when it came to dealing with complaints or or issues that may have included uh, elements of foreign interference, uh, especially the conservative parties said they were really disappointed with how those were handled. Uh, the quoting saying that they felt there was a lack of respect for the entire process, a lack of intentionality, uh, and a lack of seriousness when, when dealing with the issue. That's something uh, that has been uh, a heavy criticism of the federal government across the board when it comes to dealing with foreign interference, is that it hasn't been dealt with seriously enough, that people haven't been told early enough. And so this afternoon, when we hear from these two men who really have been subject and and at the center of all of this, what were they told? When were they told it? That's going to be something to watch for, uh, especially in the federal government's response to these sorts of threats and concerns. 